Recently, I had a conversation with a good friend of mine that I've known here in Billings for a number of years. He owns a small business, and his wife, who's retired recently from a national corporation that has offices in town, has caused him to start thinking about his retirement. And when we sat down for a cup of coffee, he said, Mark, so, so tell me, because every time I think about selling my business, I know I need to be giving you a phone call. And so, I got to warn you though, I've already talked to a couple stockbrokers and they've told me that they've hired the brightest and the best stock analysts and in, in research and market analysts uh, in the industry and, and they employ that knowledge by going out and, and, and picking the best investments out of the, the 10,000 available out there. And, uh, and so he said, I, I, I get that. But when I sell my business, do I just give you my, my investments and then, and then you turn around and, and, and give me an income for the rest of my life? And I said, I, I, really, I really appreciate uh, your thoughts. But let, let me step back and share with you how we approach your opportunities. First of all, we'll get to the how and the what. But where we start every relationship is in the why. Everything we do challenges the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. And the way we challenge the status quo is by providing clarity and insight into our clients' opportunities and challenges that they're facing as they're beginning to approach retirement. Our solutions are transparent. They're easy to understand and they're easy to implement. Yes, absolutely. We construct globally diversified portfolios that are low cost and no loads. We do this to create an income that sustains the lifestyle of our client, not only through their retirement, but through their spouse's retirement. But we begin the why with the conversation we call the discovery interview or the discovery meeting. And the discovery meeting really is just that. It's an opportunity for us to gather information and in doing so, we learn whether or not our areas of expertise can bring value to the objectives of those we're having a conversation with. It's also an opportunity for those that we're visiting with to discover that we know what we're talking about that we've been over these bridges before with other individuals and whether or not our credibility would help them in their future plans going through retirement. And then I shared with him, no, our clients never turn their money over to us. You see, I'm a registered investment advisor we provide guidance and leadership in the management decisions of our clients' wealth, but they always retain control of their investments. So in my conversation with my friend, he discovered that we work for clients that believe what we believe. It begins in the why. 